Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. I'm Cam Chak Fisco. Come join me for an indie adventure. See, this would be far more tedious if I didn't know this, Jane, and I used up all the beads and then I had to come back to make more. That would be tedious. But to be fair, compared to a lot of the other puzzles we've ever run into, this is the tedious one. The others aren't so bad, because it's solve the puzzle, get through, move on, like most adventure games. This is just one just to make sure you have enough beats. It's an adventure game. It's, its job is to break your brain. Yes, but they're magical beads that run all the technology in this world. I like, that was the one, I mean, I, I played this DOS version, and then I went back and bought the CD version when it was re-released and it had full voices, and I played that one. The only, there's only one downside to having full speech. It won't tell you the exact number of beads you have anymore. The subtitles just say a lot of beads. And it's not the number you see shooting out here. It's not 10 beads. All right, so we gotta wait till he walks by, then we go back down, grab another couple lava, come back up. Repeat twice, then we're freaking done, and we have enough oracalcum to last the entire rest of the game. All right, pass number three. Grab the beads from this, one more, and then we can finally not have to do this ever again. I'm trying to remember the terminology when you turn one material into another. I want to say alchemy, but that's not what it is. Is it? No, it's not alchemy. Alchemy is just... I don't remember what the term is now. Transmutation. Well, that's the... I, I, yeah. That's more. Oh, it is alchemy. Beads. Yeah, it is alchemy. Okay, alchemy it is alchemy. Box two. All right. I wasn't sure. Yeah, changing elements into gold, so... I know in this they've referred to it as uh, the holy grail of alchemy. So, yeah, the word is alchemy. For some reason I kept thinking alchemy was something else. My brain was thinking alchemy meant chemistry, and I don't know why. <sighs> Alright, so use this, and we're done. Thank God, we don't have to do this again. Just grab the last batch of beads, we're ready to roll. And I think I can pick up the, the wheel. I think I have to pick up the wheel before we leave. So, we have to make the amount of beads we're going to need to be able to move forward, because if not, otherwise I literally would have to come back, put the wheel back on, go get some more lava, pour it in, take the wheel with me, go, then I have to come back again! So, yeah, it's best just to get all the or a first pass. Beads. I'll put Yay. In the box too. Okay, pick up the wheel, we're gonna need that for later, and we're ready to roll out. One more time. I mean, we could do it one more time if you really, really want me to. I wouldn't mind having 50 beads, at least that I know for a damn fact I wouldn't run out. Although I will, just to be a smartass, go get a cup of lava. Not to transmute, just to have a cup of lava to throw at a Nazi. I wish. <laughs> I don't remember if the lava is used for anything else, so I just want to make sure I have it. <laughs> Alright, it's four passes. Let's get over there really quickly. Hopefully we can beat the Nazi! Made it! I distinctly remember them chasing after us. For some reason, they're not. So I don't know if I have that wrong, or if I'm thinking of a different game. Which I very well could be. Aha. Uh -huh. So now we have a couple lava for the road. And I think we want to keep the mask. We could actually put the mask up and leave, but I'm pretty sure we want to hold on to it. I could be wrong. So obviously this doesn't lead out, because there's no gaps to go outside. Um, I don't think the next one does either. I think it's only this one and the adjacent one that have the openings leading out. So if I'm fast enough, I can beat this guy, get on the outer ring, go all the way around to get to the other side of the crash site. So we can get the last room that we actually, or the last item we actually need, so we have everything to move forward and we don't need to backtrack for anything. Because I know for a fact <coughs> we need one more object. I don't want to spoil the surprise what it is. Okay, this is the only other room that had the gap to be able to get in and out. Alright. I hate how they say room, so you don't know like which ones are interconnected, so if you didn't memorize it, too bad. Yeah, I mean, Jane, the man has a ladder stuffed in his pocket. Adventure game logic. Okay, the wreck is here. Okay, so we don't have to go all the way around, but we do have to come here. And this is where the tram died. 
I guess this really was the end of the line. That was a terrible joke, Indy. Um, I'm gonna borrow this. Yeah, this might be useful. So, um, thanks for the ribcage. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go now. I'm, <laughs> he, he, he didn't need it anymore. You'll, you'll see why I need it when I go back around through. Because we need to go to this one to be able to open the door forward. Which should allow us to finally rescue her, because I think she's beyond the doors. I'm pretty sure she's beyond the doors. Uh, this is Atlantis, so this was before it sank. So this is like, either, uh, judging by the way the scale's off, I think it was a hundred... They're saying in this storyline that Atlantis didn't exist 10,000 years ago. It existed a hundred thousand years ago. So it's even further back. So they were that advanced while the rest of us were literally just barely getting out of caveman days. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna beat his face. You must be Indiana Jones. Looks like your adventure is over. Another Nazi stooge. Time to beat his face in. Let's see how big a goon you really are. Enough talk. Good night. He doesn't have anything worth taking. Now, the reason why I'm not a fan of the Brawler path, while it is a fun path to play through the game, is because most of the fights like that, there's a point where you're in the Crete ruins, and you have to fight progressively harder guys until you have to fight Franz, whose health bar is the whole screen! So, yeah, that kind of sucks. All right, let me try this room, because it's not the lava room. Uh, nope, not it. Uh, I don't remember what I was saying. Ah, crab room, that's where I need to go. All right, bitch, let's ah, dance. Dr. Jones. You, you can kill him an alternate path, path, but you get a lot don't less points sure. if you do so. Put him up. up. Got him. Hmm, he doesn't have anything worth taking. Pretty much, pretty much. Game logic. Why? Cause video games. That's why. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't that be great? Be able to have, uh, you know, what is it? Not. What do you call them? You don't call them roast crab. What? Boiled crab? How, what, what do you call cooked crab? Well, it's cooked crab. <laughs> be able to have cooked crab, whatever you want. So here's exactly why we needed it. Put the bratwurst in the rib cage. Now use the rib cage as a trap because we need a crab. I hope this catches crabs. Now we just gotta move away from the cage. I don't know how that snapped shut. It's a rib cage, but now we have a crab in a rib cage. Ooh, that sounds tasty. All right, so let's get over here so we can get back into the final hallway, which should be where we need to go. Steamed crab. Okay, it's called steamed crab. Thank you. I was like, I was like, I was sure it was called something in particular. All right, let's see what this guy's gonna do. You're gonna go back. You're gonna come this. Way. Oh, perfect. You're going that way. They, they probably don't. But I mean, it's meat on the ocean floor, and they are bottom feeders, so possibly. All right. So here's the fun one, and I'm gonna do this wrong on purpose just to show what it does. Uh, let's go ahead and save here. Use the oracalcum on the fish. Uh-oh, that didn't work very well. We broke it. So obviously the water won't let the door open, so we gotta find a way to get rid of the water. Well, I know something that heats up from earlier in the game. Hey, it's getting hot. Yeah, very hot. Might want to get that out of your inventory. That's how hot this thing gets. It melted itself out of ice, and it dissolved all that water. <laughs> I think that was a little hot. <laughs> Slag. That's funny. Poor little busted statue. all that's left of the eel statue. Okay, so now we've got to use the other bead. And it'll open with the other arm, because that's not broken. Um, hello? And we're through. 
Valiant, I... It, <laughs> technically sure. Okay, yeah, I was right. This is where she is. I thought she was beyond the gate. So let's go ahead and pick up the statue part, because we'll undoubtedly need it. Let's go look at the crush guard and mock him. Not much left of him. I see him a little flat. Sophia? Well? See you soon. <laughs> Don't leave me here, Indy. Alright. Are you sure this is safe? Oh, dear lord, woman. Seriously. Sure, let's go, Sophia. I don't know. The door makes me nervous. Brace the door with a rock. I don't have a rock. Then now she has a crab friend. You know what? It, I, I tried to open the gate for you. you. You didn't want to cooperate. You refused to go underneath. See ya. Bye-bye. Jones! Don't you dare leave me here, you... you troglodyte! <coughs> I opened the gate! You wouldn't come out! That's your fault! To be fair, you have to go forward. You have to leave her. Because you have to be able to find what you need here. So you all were wondering why I needed the crab as bait. Yeah, there's a kraken. Or an octopus, I guess. It looks pretty hungry. Well, let's feed it. Enjoy! Glad you liked it. It's a pile of bones. Alright, now we can actually cross the water without getting killed. Only to get on the strange crab raft. It's not operating. Of course, runs an orichalcum, why wouldn't it? Whoa, this thing's got a motor. Float to the gate. <laughs> Pretty much the same. It's closed. Flail my arms around. Don't we all, Jay? Don't we all? All right, so I think it's the sunstone here, or is it the world stone? It's the sunstone, because we're on the outer rings. As we go closer in, we're going to have to use a different stone. All right, so let's go ahead and float here. Maybe they're animal bones. No animal I know about has bones like these. Yeah, I should be telling you something, Indy. All right, I think it's now the Moonstone. So I think it goes Sunstone one side, then Moonstone, then Worldstone, then Worldstone, Sunstone, or Moonstone, Sunstone, as you go back out on the outer rings. Yep. Because we're getting closer to the heart of Atlantis. These bones are weirdly twisted. Any human being with bones like this must have been diseased. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can look at that. I don't think so. Crescent shaped gear. We're going to need that. Oh, wait, 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 I almost forgot. Close the cupboard. No, 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 look at it. Don't open, look, look at the cupboard. What's this? There you go. All right. So everybody remember this. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to do a print screen. Let me open my uh, MS Paint, paste it, and now we have access to that for later. Because we're going to need that to know how to activate something. Hint, you forgot already. Alright, use the crab raft. Um, I think we can go look at the boat. I bones. can't reach it. Get on the crab, then go over to the boat. 
Some of the skulls bear half-grown horns. Use the crab. So this should be the world stone. Which means this is the one that leads to the center of the ring, but obviously we can't go without Sophia. As much as I'd like to leave her there, because she keeps making me strain to open the goddamn gate. <laughs> Not exactly. Maybe they weren't human at all, but something else. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. As the waters rose around their cities, the kings of Atlantis, uh, one after another, sought to hold off fate. Knowing mortal men would never rule the sea, they planned a huge colossus, which by use of oracalcum, ten beads at a time, would make them into the gods themselves. Nerabsal was one such king. He it was, say, the wise men of Egypt, who first put the men into the colossus, making many freaks of nature at a time when celestial spheres were well aligned. He used them as guinea pigs to figure out how to make it work right. To figure out exactly what the right properties were. Well, Idiot said earlier that he saw a statue of a Minotaur and was wondering if this is where the original concept of the Minotaur came from and that it predated Greece. Yeah. Like crazy I'll never advanced get tech. Here. And if the uh, the numbers are supposed to be right for the scale, it's literally saying that what either kind of demonic creatures look like this. One hundred thousand years ago, or one thousand BC, is when this civilization They're horribly existed. Horribly gnarled bones. For uh, okay, so stumps. You know uh, Greek history really well. Uh, Socrates. Would that be around about one thousand BC or later than that? Oh, it's a lot of fun. I'll probably be doing my playthrough of 1 and 2 on here, and then it'll just be uh, porting over to YouTube. They're horribly gnarled bones. I like the fact that they actually took the effort to have each one have a different description. They're horribly gnarled bones. Okay, not on this page, apparently. It's the one page they didn't do it for. All right, so this should unlock the very, very last one. Hey, bees, welcome back. Later. So either timeline could work, whether it was a thousand years ago or a hundred thousand years ago. One makes it even all the more impressive, but all this tech was either 1000 BC or even 100,000 BC, which is even more insane. What is the deal with fish? I never actually looked at it. It's a strange carving. Okay. All right, let's get back on the raft, and we've got to move forward, forward, even though we don't want to keep going forward, because we've got to trigger a particular thing which will give us what we need to go back and free her. The game won't actually let you go all the way to the end without her, because you need her to get past a certain puzzle, no matter which playthrough you picked. Orichalcos. Interesting, because the stuff in here is Orichalcum. I mean, have you met me, Jane? I'm a completionist. I'm that annoying guy that wants to test everything. I brute force puzzles. <laughs> As I showed with the one with the stones. The stone discs. Alright, so we gotta go here. That's where I thought we had to go, but I wasn't sure if there was anything else along the rings. So it doesn't matter if you go left or right, they both lead to here. I have not heard of either one of those, actually. Alright. Use chain with the bronze loop. Um, use chain with the bronze loop. And we can't use it with this loop yet because the arm is too far away. So we need to move the arm close, connect the chain, move the arm away, and boing, knock it right off the hinges. Okay, so this is why we brought the ladder back. From down here. That's exactly why we got the ladder. 
My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoy it. You all take care of yourself. If you want to see more of me, come to the video on the list, or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below. Please remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fairly well, everyone.